I'm going to show you how to connect a Windows 7 professional virtual machine to a Windows Server 2012 Active Directory server, assuming both systems are using dynamic IP addresses. So the first thing I want to find out is what is the IP of this server? And it currently is 172.16.35.130. And it is important to know that because this IP can change, uh, we may have to make some changes over here from time to time if we use our virtual machines on a different physical system. So I'm going to run command over here as well and just really quickly do an IP config. And looking at this IP address, it definitely is on a different network. So this one is on a 172.16.35.130 IP address. We want this system to be on the same network. So I'm going to go ahead and right click and go into Open Network and Sharing Center, Change Adapter Settings, right click Local Area Connection, and then Properties and then TCP IP version 4 and then properties again and I'm gonna go ahead and say obtain IP address automatically now here I'm gonna erase the alternate DNS server and I'm gonna change the preferred DNS server and I'm just hitting backspace to delete the IPs to the IP address of our main server 172.16.35.130 172.16.35.130 and there will be no alternative and I'll just confirm those IPs again 172.16.35.130 okay so I'll click OK and close and I'll close this and I'll clear the screen and I will reissue the IP fig command and just confirm that the IP address did indeed work and it's over here asking me now what type of network do I want to be a part of and technically what we're setting up is a work network so I'll go ahead and click work and I do want to go ahead and ping and make sure I can get through to 172.16.35.130 which is my server and I can as a note, I believe both of these firewalls are off because we are following the Lab Manual for Security Plus Guide to Network Security Fundamentals by Andrew Hurd and Dean Farwood, 5th edition. However, you do not need the book to go through these tutorials. Okay, so I have all of my Active Directory services set up over here, and I want to join this system to the domain. So I'm going to click the Windows Orb. I'm going to right-click Computer and go to Properties. And the first thing I want to check really quickly, if I click Change Settings, I can see that I've already got the name changed. But in this case, we do want to change the work group to log into um, our new domain that we've created over here. So I'm going to click Change. And I'm going to click Domain. Now it's going to, it wants to know what domain. And I'm going to type in ITS341.baker. This is the name of the domain that is running on this system. And if we're ever in doubt as to what domain it is, we can get that information here on in Server Manager. Okay, so I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to click OK and it immediately asked me for the administrative domain administrator account for this server this popped up right away which is usually a good indicator that it was able to contact the domain so I'm going to type in administrator and the password which is the default password that we're using capital P at SSW0RD 
and I'll click OK. And there's going to be a little bit of a pause while the Windows 7 computer tries to contact the domain. And it did successfully contact the ITS341.baker domain. So I'm going to, have to click OK and OK again. And it warns me that I do need to restart. So I'm going to restart. Now, the important thing to keep in mind is even though I'm joining the domain, it is possible in Windows 7 to log back into the local uh, administrative account if I ever need to do work on the machine in the event that I'm unable to contact the domain controller. Um, in this case, we only have one domain controller. So if, for whatever reason, the IP here changed, over here we would need to use the local administrator account. All right, once the Windows 7 system is booted up from joining Active Directory, we can issue a Control-Alt-Delete. And by default, it will be set to log in to the local system. So we want to make sure that it's saying log on to ITS 341. And then I can type in the user we created in our previous video. And I will include a link to that video. It was the video where we created an Active Directory server on server 2012 R2. So now I'm going to go ahead and log in. And I am actually logging in as the test user that we created here on the local server. So if I go to Tools, Active Directory, Users and Computers, and click users and I scroll down I will see here the test user that I had created. So back on the Windows 7 server if I log off and I wanted to log in as the domain administrator I could go to switch user other user and if I actually type in administrator, it's actually going to switch me to say log on to 7. So you have to be very careful and be observant to that. Here we will add ITS 341 backslash. And now it's saying we're going to log you on to the ITS 341. And do note that that is a backslash. Um, if you use a forward slash, it will not log in. And I'm going to use the default password, and I know I'm logging into the domain as the domain administrator, so I'll click the arrow. And once again, now I am logged in as the domain administrator. And if I click the Windows Orb, I can see that I'm currently logged in as administrator. And you could, if you wanted to, change the desktop background so you know you're logged in as the domain administrator. Um, there's all kinds of different things that you can do. For one, you could do, for example, uh, it, I guess it doesn't really matter. You could change the image. Um, you could use a solid color. And if I close, I now have a red background that alerts me that I'm actually logged in as the domain administrator. So if I click the Windows Orb and I log off, and then I do a Control-Alt-Delete, and I actually switched user and logged in as just the local administrator local to this computer the seven computer and type in the password you'll see when I log in I do not have the red screen it would only be the case if I log off do a control alt delete again switch user other user ITS 341, which is the name of our domain, backslash administrator, and the default password. 
And again, I've got the red background, so I know I'm actually logged in as the domain administrator. And also we can go to, and I'm on the Windows Server 2012 now, in Active Directory Users at Computers. If I go to Computers, I can see that uh, I now have a computer object called 7, which is this system that has now logged in to the server. So this concludes our video on joining a Windows 7 system to a Server 2012 domain. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.